Hey guys, it's Kelly Meyer, licensed and certified pediatric speech language pathologist, and welcome to the Speech Scoop. Mommy's doing the laundry, now I'm folding the shirts, now I'm walking to the kitchen, now I'm stirring in a bowl. How many times has your doctor told you to, to make sure to talk to your kids all day? Or your friends, like, oh, your kids aren't talking, just talk to them all day, tell them what you're doing, talk about your day. No, your toddler doesn't care. One, it doesn't involve them. Two, they're not getting anything out of it. And three, they're probably tuning you out. So today I'm going to tell you exactly what to do instead of talking to your child all day. Okay, so number one is to use a sing-songy voice or use a repetitive song that is said in the same way every single time because this is known as a, as a verbal routine, like ready, set, go. One, two, you knew I was gonna say three. Why? Because it's the same every time. So this allows your child to remember this phrase and if they have an expressive language delay, this helps them pull out and retrieve that information and provide it a little bit faster and more efficiently in context. So this is a great way to start helping your child fill in the blanks and building on their vocabulary using verbal routines or using sing-songy voice in repetitive songs over and over again. The second thing that you can do is model one and two word combinations over and over again. So you always wanna be one step ahead of your child. So if your child is saying one word, we're modeling two words. If they're saying two words, we're modeling three words. You get the point. Okay, so for example, today um, I'm actually modeling the Love Every Dabbler kit. So again, I love these play kits. This is for 13, 14, 15. I chose this specifically because this is whenever a lot of times parents start to get worried about speech and language skills. So this is one of the toys. This is so cute. Um, these are bunnies. So if I was playing with these bunnies, I would say just something simple like hop, 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 hop in. Or you could say bunny in. Or you could say bye bunny. Shh. And so these are all super fun ways to model one and two word combinations if your child is not yet using two word combinations. So you could even just say out or bye, or if you're putting the back in, I would say hide, hide. So I'm making it fun. I'm using one or two words depending on where your child's at. If your child's at three words, then you could exaggerate or add on to that sentence. And this is just one example using this toy. Okay, so number three, you're going to help them learn functional words. Why? Because a lot of the times kids that I see are really great at labeling tons of things, cow, animal, color, letter, name, it doesn't matter, but they're not able to functionally communicate when they're stuck, when they need help, when they want more, when they need to go up or down. And so it's really important that we use a lot of those functional communication words while we're playing in our normal routines. While your child's helping you get the laundry out, you say, out, out, or stuck. Ugh. You're making it fun and entertaining. You're also using a functional word. So for example, again, this is out of the Babbler Love Every Play Kit. You can check out all of my links below. Um, you put the ball in, I would say push. So that's a functional action word. It goes in and then I might say, uh oh, oh no, where did it go? And then if your child needs help, I would say help, 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 open. <gasps> And I would just do that over and over again. Like, where did it go? Use a verbal routine, add in an action, model one and two word combinations, and then use those functional play words while you're playing or during your daily routine. Moving on to number four. Number four, whenever you are engaging with your child, if you can get down to their level, because a lot of times we're just looking at whatever's in front of us. That's why premium retail, right, is at eye level. So what we wanna do is try to get down to your child's eye level and use high affect and vocal intonation and alter your volume. One of my favorite things to do is just like I just did with this bunny example, say hide, hide. A whisper really gains attention and nine out of 10 times, a child will imitate whispering back to me and then now they're engaged. Versus if you're doing something like a peekaboo, I might say peekaboo. <gasps> and I'm being super excited and drawing all that attention to my face, right? That way, this made it fun. If I'm just like this. Wow, super fun. Your child does not care, right? But if I'm like, and I'm acting like it's super fun, that is going to gain your child's attention and keep their attention and draw attention to the word that you're saying so that hopefully they will imitate that word as well. Number five, we want to use and over-exaggerate our onomatopoeias. What are onomatopoeias? 
Glad you asked. I have a video on onomatopoeias right here with a ton of fantastic examples, so make sure to check that out. But for the short term, here is another example in the Babbler Play Kit. Love it. And so all you're going to do, it's, it's all these fine words, and a lot of times these are a child's first words. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wee! Yay! Things like that. So if you're just putting something on and it falls, uh-oh. Oh, you do it over and over and over again. And maybe the next time and you don't say it and see again, I've built this verbal routine now by doing it over and over again. I'm drawing attention to my face and I'm using a super fun onomatopoeia. So that is a great way to get your child to start talking using onomatopoeias. And then again, you could get every time they do put it on. Yay! More on. And I love this because it's like super wobbly too. These come out. So this is another super fun toy. Just going to set this right here. Number six. Okay, so this is one that people miss. So make sure to focus in here. So number six is making fun faces in the mirror. Why is it important? Because your child needs to be able to imitate those oral motor movements. Okay. And so whenever you're being like, oh, or, or you're blowing bubbles and we're pop, pop. All of these lip movements require your child to be looking and imitating them. Now, you could do this in the mirror. You could put lipstick on your lips and do kisses in the mirror to try to get your child's lips to go out. This is very important for oral motor strength and coordination and also to help them just with realizing they can control their articulators. So that is number six, but also it's important that we remember the pyramid. And this is another Instagram post that I have on the levels of imitation. It starts with gross motor. If you think about a triangle pyramid like this, gross motor is at the bottom. So if you're running, are they running? If you're clapping and fine motor things, if you're putting things on your head and seizing them up, are they imitating that? Because we start big and then we work our way small. So if your child's not imitating words and they're not imitating your faces and they're not imitating fine motor, then maybe back all the way up to gross motor. See if you can get them to jump whenever you're jumping. See if you can get them to throw whenever you're throwing. So that is our imitation and make sure to check out that post on Instagram as well. And last but not least on seven things to do instead of just talking to your child all day. Whenever you're reading a book, and this book again was in the Love Every um, Babbler kit, all you want to do is emphasize those important action functional words or make it fun and use the sounds. So this book is too long in my opinion, right? And so I would not, unless your child can sit there through this whole book, I would just quickly like we're rolling through this and saying what there is, <gasps> take bath, pour water, wow, uh-oh, oh no, soapy eyes. <gasps> Oh, thanks, mom. Using one or two words to describe the picture. Big hug. You can give your baby a hug. So I'm drawing attention. I'm using the actions and I'm keeping it quick. Zip pajamas. Oh, brush teeth. Brush, 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 brush. So you're just making it super fun. You're keeping their attention. You're drawing the their attention to the most important functional action words. A lot of times what happens is kids get stuck with the labeling and so they have trouble actually communicating whenever they're stuck or they need help or they want more of something or they need to go up and down. And so that's super important whenever you're reading books that you're drawing attention to that as well after your child is able to maintain attention to the book. And if you need help with getting your child to attend to books, you guessed it, I have a video, which I will put right here. Okay guys, so just to recap, remember quality over quantity. If you're doing something like blowing bubbles with your child, we're not just blowing bubbles like this, bubbles. You're gonna create a verbal routine, which was number one, right? You're gonna say, oh, bubbles, okay. One, two, three, here's the action word, blow bubbles, yay, pop, 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 pop. And then whenever they, you put the lid on, oh, we want more bubbles. Okay, what do we do it again? One, two, three. Allow time for your child to fill in the blank for blow, right? And if they actually try to blow themselves, then that means that they understand the meaning of the words and that's totally fine. And maybe I'm not working on the B sound, maybe I'm working on the O sound. So if you do need all those speech sound hand cues, make sure to check out this video above and my free download, which is down below in the description box. And let me know if you need any other videos or tips or help for your little one. Send me a thanks or super thanks on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe here and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. All right, guys, so I will see you next time. Thank you.